Welcome to the Health Channel, all health, all the time. I'm Kathy Buccio coming to you from the Baptist Health South Florida studios. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, finding a new normal after pregnancy can be challenging. I think we've all been there. And joining us to talk about this today is Sandy Glant, a family and fitness coach at Business and Body. Welcome to the show, Sandy. Thanks so much for having me. I feel like we're never going to run out of things to talk about. Yes, Because this yes. is <laughs> such a great show today. Now, let's talk about, first of all, what it is that you do and how you got started for, with Business and Body. Yeah, so, you know, I, I have a baby. He's 15 months old. And... You know, you do a lot of planning as a mom. You know you're a mom. And we think we prepare ourselves before, you know, we have our baby. Like, I took all the classes and pretty much tried to do everything I could to prepare myself. Right. But then once my baby was born, I realized there was a whole slew of things that I just wasn't prepared for. Right. So especially I feel like when you're in that postpartum stage, you know, you your hormones are, are going like crazy. And, you know, you just... You need to find something that works for you. I call it your new normal. Absolutely. And for me, I started working with moms first in the fitness in the fitness spectrum, mm -hmm. but then after I had my baby, I saw such a need for helping moms because right. I was that mom. You know, I was a new mom. I was in the thick of it, and I, you know, again, the hormones were going up and down, and I needed to find a solution for myself. So what I found was I would put. The little measurable steps, actionable steps into place every day. And I realized that what I was doing was really helping me and it was helping other moms. Right. So that's what I do. I work with moms and I help them kind of figure out this whole mom life, you know, thing and just making it easier on moms because we all need it. <laughs> and I think it's important. I love that you say that it's, 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 you need that time, but I think it's important to also know that Every mom is different. Yes. So what one works for mom, mom, yes. I think is different for another. And I Definitely. think we all have that idea that when we go into motherhood, we have to all follow the same right. plan. And mm -hmm. I think we get into trouble that way yes. and get overwhelmed. And it's and every baby is different. And every baby is different. But as I think you said it correctly, it's like what's going to work for you? Yeah. Have your own mom plan. Exactly. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from the way your body changes and getting enough rest, you talked about the biggest challenges about being a mom. So what yeah. are some of the ones that you went through and some of the ones that you help with? What are some of those pregnancy changes? Yeah, so you know, it's it's a few things. So first we have the physical changes. Right. And you know, the physical changes, it's it starts during pregnancy. So, you know, your your body is changing, you're going through um, hormonal changes, which, you know, depending on again, every pregnancy is different, every baby's different, every mom is different. It depends on what that looks like for you. Right. Of course, sleep is a whole is a whole nother topic because that changes during pregnancy as well. And then we're also as I've mentioned, going through the hormones as well. So it's not just one thing, and it's kind of navigating the ins and outs of what that looks like right. across all of those topics. And I think while it's beautiful that your body changes and you're, and you're growing this beautiful baby, which is such a blessing, the, the, the reality is that that you're not recognizing this right. body. It's almost like, what's going on? Yes. And, you're, and, and I think that's that's one of those physical changes you talk about that mm -hmm. many women struggle with or, yes. or try or are hard to accept sometimes. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you know, especially my first time moms, again, I went through it, you know, it's, it's something that you're that you've never seen before. Right. I mean, you know, you're noticing your breasts growing, your belly, of course, is it's growing. Moving. People, things are moving in that yes, belly. <laughs> yes. So it can be very foreign, and right. it's something that, again, you can prepare yourself for it. But it's something that the more tools. Uh, that you can kind of like have in that tool belt that you can arm yourself with and prepare yourself with, the more you're going to feel confident, mm -hmm. you're going to feel like you are in control. Right. And that's what I like to give moms because if you can feel that... A little bit of control. Yeah, if you, can, if you can go into the pregnancy and then, you know, going through pregnancy and then, of course, afterwards, mm -hmm. postpartum, I feel like that is the biggest... It's just, it's such a confidence booster. It makes you feel powerful as a right. mom. And, and you know, it just makes you feel good and confident. Absolutely. I want to talk about the postpartum because yeah. I think after labor as well is another challenge for mom. Definitely. Because not only do you have this gorgeous little baby that yes. comes with no instruction manual, yes. now it's also all the changes in yes. your body, all the changes in your schedule, physical, yep. emotional, mental. All of and it. you deal mm. with that as well. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think, again, going back to the new normal. I, I love using that word yes. because as moms, we're so used to being able to run out the door and go work out or go grocery shopping or run errands. Like, 
like nothing else is going on, you know, right. we're on our own terms. But when baby comes into the picture, it's especially if you're breastfeeding, you are attached to that baby. And you know, it's such a beautiful time in your life, but you have to realize that it's a season. It's not going to last in that moment forever, right. but figuring out what your new normal looks like so you can navigate and just navigate your, your new life. Right. Now I know that a lot of there's, you know, we're bombarded in the media with these images yeah. of what celebrities look like after mm -hmm. giving birth, yeah. two weeks after a mm -hmm. baby. And you almost think like, should my body Ugh. be looking that way? And I think it's right. so unrealistic and so it unhealthy yeah. because we just gave birth to, we, yeah. not for nine months, we grew exactly. a baby <laughs> and we just gave birth to this child. Yes. So how unrealistic is that? And how do we help moms sort of put that focus back on us? Yeah. And hey, the realities of what it is to be a mom after labor. Exactly. Now you have to remember that these women that are on TV, that are in the magazines, they have nutritionists, they have trainers, they have all of these things um, at their disposal that they can Right, the second they give birth, right. they're there, you know? So we have to give ourselves grace and know that there's gonna be a window of time. Your your body's gotta be able, your, your belly even, you know? It's not like magic all of a sudden, you have a baby and flat stomach again, right. you know? So you have to be realistic with, you just gave your body nine months, nine and a half mm -hmm. months to grow this beautiful baby. You gotta give yourself the same for recovery. Right. You know, so again, every mom is different. It, it depends a lot on what her, what kind of her schedule, her health, her fitness looked like pre baby, mm -hmm. pre-pregnancy. Um, so if you're active during pregnancy, it's so, it's so, there's so many benefits for mo both mom and baby. Right. But again, every mom is different. Every pregnancy is different. Every baby is different. So the, the better you are going into the pregnancy, the healthier, the more active you are, the quicker you'll bounce back. But again, it goes back to just having a really good lifestyle, diet, exercise plan that, you know, you can that you can incorporate into your life. And I like how you said you have to have some grace yes. for yourself because I yes. think you have to be kind. I always say, be nice Definitely. to yourself. Yes. You know, don't put all these expectations on you and then it kind right. of takes away from the moment of, of being with your child when yeah. you're fixated on trying to get your body back. Definitely. And you have to so give many time. moms that I talk to, you know, they're like, well, I can't fit back into my skinny jeans yet. And you know, why, why not? And I just said, well, how, how long ago did you have a baby? You know, it was three or four months ago. Like you are still in the window of right. just focus on your baby. And it's hard, I think, as a new mom, especially because of the hormones, our bodies trying to get back to normal, Right. you know, new normal, right? New normal. Um, that you, again, need to give yourself grace and just understand that it's a process and it's not gonna happen overnight, but if you have the consistency, then you'll get there. I think that it was one of the things that was I wouldn't say difficult, but it was definitely one of the challenges was when you see old pictures of yourself yeah. and you're like, I know I've always been a, a thin framed and I see them like, oh, I was so much thinner then. But, I'm, but I have to think, oh my goodness, my body has given birth to two children. Exactly. And I think it's the realization of my new norm, my new body yes. and like embracing it and being so happy because of what it did. Exactly, right. you know, and then maybe there's other parts of your body that you love now. Like before, you know, maybe it was, okay, well I loved my stomach or my this or my that, but now you're like, okay, well maybe I got some booty, cause you know, yeah. it's just, you have to focus on the positive. Absolutely. You have to focus on um, the areas that you do admire about yourself and that, you know, maybe you do wanna work on something, but there's other areas that you should focus on that, you know, you find to love. Now, Thank I do want to take a moment to let our viewers know that you can call in if you have any questions. The toll-free number is 855-796-4475. We'd love to hear from you. Now, the changes and challenges moms face are different from pregnancy to post-pregnancy. So can you talk about the different stages of having a child and how that might affect the balance or trying to find that balance initially. Yeah, so again, like I mentioned, you know, before you have that baby, it's all about you. Right. And maybe if you're a mom and you already have a baby, then you know your routine. You know what it looks like. It's it's like a well oiled machine. But then baby comes into the picture mm -hmm. and you're up at night, you're, you're doing the breastfeeding or feedings all day and all night long. So you really want to be able to focus on like what those wins are for you and the, the actionable um, steps that you can take right. to really put those wins in place for yourself. So how do you work with moms 
to find that sort of routine, especially new moms? Yeah, so you know, I talk to the moms and I say, what's important to them? Maybe for one mom, it's, you know, being able to have time with her husband or, her, you know, her partner. Right. Um, also making, if there's another baby, making that baby feel or child feel mm -hmm. important, you right. know? So we kind of, I talk to the moms and ask them what they want to focus on, you know, because it's so easy and you know this as a mom to feel like, overwhelmed with everything. Of course. You know, we think about all the things that we have to get done. We think about the to-do list and we're sitting there rocking baby and in your mind you're going through the I'm laundry list. I'm just rattling list. off my to-do yes. list in my head. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, you know, being able to, to be in the moment, have appreciation and, and gratitude for where you're at, but also knowing what your goals are. Right. So that's super important. Okay. I have to ask you and put you on the spot. Yeah. What did is there anything you wish you knew then that you've yeah. learned through this whole process now 15 months later? Yeah, so definitely that it's a stage. It's, you know, as a new mom, I remember, again, being super hormonal and being like, oh my gosh, this is like forever now for me. Like say, like not getting sleep and doing the, the feedings, like, you know, breastfeeding is very demanding. Um, and for me, like, I, I loved doing it for my baby, but I needed to be able to feel comfortable with it. So um, you're learning a lot, but just know that you're learning as you go. As you go, and also your baby doesn't know any different. Right. Like your baby, your I always tell, told my son, I would say, I'm learning with you. You know, you're teaching me. Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, if we can also accept that like our children can also be our teachers. Absolutely. You know, like my son teaches me something every day, and I'm like, thank you for being this teacher in my life. And I think one of the things that we learn along the way is that self-care, but it's so common for moms and you often hear it, yeah. how they just neglect themselves and there's no room for self-care yes. until that one day you just kind of explode and yes. lose your sanity <laughs> and you're like, I just need some yes. free time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I created a guide and it's called the magic mom morning. And what I, what I, did was like I said for myself I was kind of in the trenches of it you know I was at a point where I was overwhelmed I was tired I wasn't I wasn't able to see the wins for myself right. and I think whether it's in work whether it's at home like Actually defining those wins for yourself makes a huge difference because again, as moms, we, we just think about all the things we need to do and all the things that go wrong. Right. And if we're able to actually put almost like a checklist together for ourselves and give us those wins first thing in the morning, that's why I call it the magic mom morning because once I did these things, it was magic. Right. And that's where, th that's where this came from. And you feel like you've accomplished the yes, world. Yes. Yeah. So I put a guide together, like I said, called the magic mom morning. And these are actionable steps, wins that you create for yourself first thing in the morning. Now coming up, we will get an inside scoop of Sandy's magic mom's morning program and how it works to help moms find a morning routine that works for them. I can't wait to hear about this one. You're watching the health channel, all health all the time on South Florida PBS. If you have a question, please call in using the toll free number. 855-796-4475. And remember, you can take the health channel wherever you go by visiting our website, allhealthtv.com, and you can watch a health channel live stream or check out videos from previous episodes. We'll be right back. C stands for courage, collaboration, compassion, and cutting edge with the most advanced radiation treatments, including proton therapy. At Miami Cancer Institute, C also stands for Cure. World-class cancer care right here at home. Learn more at MiamiCancerInstitute.com. today, not for myself, but for every tail wagger, sloppy kisser, and curtain ninja. I stand here for each one of the nearly 4,100 dogs and cats killed in shelters each day, asking you to join our cause and help us make sure every best friend has a chance to meet one of their own. With Best Friends Animal Society leading the charge and your help, we can save them all. Concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury, or TBI, 
caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head, or by a hit to the body that causes your head and brain to move rapidly back and forth. This sudden movement can literally cause the brain to bounce around or twist in the skull, stretching and damaging the brain cells and creating chemical changes in the brain. What you might not know is that these chemical changes make the brain more sensitive to any increased stress or injury until it fully recovers. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Whew. One in three adults has prediabetes. That means it could be you your favorite brother, your other brother, you, your boss, your boss's boss, you, your barber, your barber's barber. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. Or you, your co-pilot, your co-pilot's co-pilot. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Welcome back to the Health Channel, all health, all the time. I'm Kathy Buccio, and with us is Sandy Glant, a family and fitness coach at Business and Body. Now we wanna know your questions, so please call in using the toll-free number 855-796-4475. We'd love to hear from you. Now this hour, we are talking about finding a new normal as a mother, and I know that I can relate, I'm sure many moms out there can. So you put together a program called Magic Mom Morning. So That's could right. you give us a little more background? I know we touched a little bit upon it, but yeah. I wanna know what those Magic Mom Mornings yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, for a mom, we, we're taking care of everybody. We're taking care of the house, we're taking care of the baby and our partners, the animals, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and then, you know, not to mention the groceries, the cooking, the cleaning, right. all that other stuff. So the day, how we really start our day is such a huge factor into what the rest of our day looks like. So for me, when I was a new mom and I was, you know, in the thick of it, I was going through and I was saying, what is making me feel like I can set my day up for success? And what I do is I put actionable steps together mm -hmm. that anyone can do, any mom can do to set her day up so she feels like she's getting those wins first thing in the morning. Right. So I'm gonna give you a couple of them. Yes, because, I want you to share those yes, wins. Yes, yes. So, okay, so we get up in the morning. The first thing is you gotta get up before the baby gets up because you are behind your day. If baby's up and you're just rushing into their room or you know, you haven't filled your own cup first. No. And it's super important to be able to have your wins before you can get to anybody else. Mm -hmm. And it, listen, it might sound selfish and it might to some people, but how are you supposed to give to others if you can't? Give to yourself. Exactly, Right. exactly. So one of the first things I talk about is making your bed first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, and it sounds like, oh, my mom made me make my bed in the morning. It's not, <laughs> it's, it feels like you've accomplished the world exactly. by making your bed in the morning. Exactly, <laughs> and you know, another tip that I share in my guide is like cleaning up your space a little bit, but that same thing goes along with making your bed. When you do that, your space is clean, you, you have less clutter, you feel better after you do that, and it's like the first check of I've accomplished something in yes. the morning. And that sets the tone for the day. I know my husband thinks I'm crazy when he sees me get into clean mode. Yeah. Where my kids see me now, I'm like, this is just part of my routine exactly. to feel together. Exactly. <laughs> and and honestly, when you when you have your space clear, and I talk about this in my guide, when you have your space clear, mentally you have that clarity as yes. well. Yes, I yeah. agree. Now, on a couple of other things you do is you say you plan your day. Yes, yes. Plan your day. So how do you plan your day as yeah. a new mom? So, so you can do this two ways. For me, I like to plan it like the week before. So I know what to-do lists I have. I know what days I'm going grocery shopping or using, you know, my technology to like Instacart or all these other, um, you to know, help you out. devices that you can, you can use. Like if they're there, use them. Like it just buys mama time. Absolutely. Right? So whether it's the grocery shopping, shopping, whether it's like we just had the holidays, you know, holiday shopping. So you plan that out. Maybe it's Sunday night. Maybe it's before you go to bed or Monday, whatever day, pick one day and, and map out your week. I'm not saying map out the whole month, just do your week. 
or so that's one option or the second option is do it before you go to bed for the next day so you're going to sleep at night you're winding down and then you say okay this is like almost by the hour what you're mapping out the next day to look like so you're already ahead of schedule right you're not doing it when, when baby's crying or when you gotta do the feedings, everything's going on, you are, you are in control of your day. Now let's get a look at some examples of morning routines and go through them, starting which yeah. is working out. I yes. know you have that one on there, which we're gonna talk more about later, but this is really important, and why is that? Yeah, so you know, working out, it's not just for physical, but it's also for your mental clarity as well. I know for me, you know, I've always been very active, but if I don't work out, if it's been like two or three days, I'm like going crazy because I'm like, right. I need this for just my mental health. So it really is something that even when you're pregnant, it's so, there's so many health benefits for mom and baby. Right. But it's something that, again, it's a small win. You know that you're doing it and it's, it's fueling you, mm -hmm. filling up your cup. But also, it's, sometimes it's hard. Like if you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, sometimes it's, it's hard to fit that in. So I know we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but you know, it's super important to be able to, to get that done and out of the way first right. thing in the morning. Now, what about affirmations? I really yeah. like that one, because I think sometimes, you know, we kind of have to give ourselves our own credit yes. and, be, and be okay with that. So yes. how are affirmations really important, how they help? Yeah, so you know, with affirmations, it's something that, you know, again, it's setting the tone for the day. And this can be something small as, you know, I'm going to, to start my day, um, you know, accepting what comes to me and being able to, to handle the day with grace and ease. You know, whatever, um, I always say like, what tone do you wanna set for the day? And, and think of aligning your affirmations with that. Because it could be you, you know, maybe you handle, you have stress coming, like the holidays, extra family, extra obligations. And it's just like allowing your mind to be able to set the tone for what's coming your way. Right. So, I mean, the first word that popped into my head when I thought affirmations, I thought encouraging. Yeah. So I would have to use something with that word in it, sort of yes. set the tone for that day, be encouraged to yes. overcome anything that comes my way. Definitely, and I wanna share, because I have a few that, okay. that, that, I, that I wrote down that I wanna share with you. So the first one is, I am adaptable and can handle anything presented to me with grace. Yes. That's powerful. Very powerful. You know, because again, a lot of things pop up and we can stress out about it. You know, but if we know we're setting the tone for the day that we handle it with grace, whatever comes our way, we got it. Yes. Right? So another one is um, I respond with love even when triggered. So as a mom, who knows what can pop up? Maybe something spilled on the floor or you don't get something done that needs to get done. You know that you're responding with love and whatever, you know, you're, you're faced with that day that you got it. Right. So it's empowering mom, <laughs> right? And then another one is I am grateful that I was able to adapt to my ever-changing day. And I also like this if you change day for body, you know, when you're pregnant. Yes. You can say I'm grateful for this beautiful baby, healthy baby that I'm carrying. As for opposed my to body. saying, oh, my back hurts, I have yeah. sciatica or I can't sleep correctly. Exactly. Instead you say but this, there's something beautiful happening yes. here. Yes, and it changes the way that we think for the entire day. You're absolutely right. Knowing that when we start our day with this, that is going to be the tone of the day and, and we are setting that. So pick kind of the affirmations that, that you wanna set, whether it's for abundance, motivation, maybe it's money, maybe it's family, but pick one and like let that be the tone for the day. I like that, and there's one here that I really love in your morning routine because I'm a, I'm a I'm very adamant about this with any new mom or, or for friends, which is get out of the house. Yes. You you have to get, whether it's, I say it's always like once a day. I don't Definitely. care if you are going to Walgreens. Yes. I don't care if you are going to the supermarket. <laughs> you gotta get out. Exactly. And you know, it changes up your environment because we can get so lost in Our home. The, the dishes need to be done and the laundry needs to be done. And it just feels very confining when you're in your, your space. Yes. And all you can see is that. All you see is what needs to be done, what isn't done, you know. By getting out of your space, go talk to the barista. I mean, any adult, right? right. Like when we're in mom mode and we're just watching cartoons all day long or whatever it is, it's not, um, it can be very lonely. And I think a lot of the moms that I talk to, that is something that always comes up. It's lonely, I feel, 
Um, like you haven't had an adult conversation because yes. all you've been watching is Mickey Mouse exactly. Clubhouse. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> exactly. So by just being able to change up your environment, you can break that and you give yourself a little bit of a break, talk to another adult and just, again, go get a coffee, go to Walgreens, go do something, walk the baby, you know, in the stroller around yes. your neighborhood. So it just changes up your perspective a little bit. That's when those mom friends are really key when you have Definitely. those babies. Now we're going to talk about these other routines, but first I do want to remind our viewers to call in if you have a question. The toll-free number is 855-796-4475. We love to hear from you. Now, other routines you recommend are small, but they make a big difference. And I agree with this, this one. We talked about making your bed. Yeah. Another big one is getting dressed up, yeah. putting your makeup on. Exactly. This is, I know it may sound silly to many because you're like, when would I have time to get dressed yeah. up on makeup as a new mom? Right, right. But it's that little effort exactly. that goes a long way. Totally. And also, you know, for, for me, I mean, you know, I'm not like full on hair and makeup like pushing my child or going to like baby class. Right. <laughs> However, I do do a little bit of foundation. I'll do some mascara. I'm not asking moms to go full on glam squad. Right. I'm just saying go and make a little bit of effort with hair and makeup. Again, before baby wakes up, just do something because you'll appreciate it when you have a knock on the door and it's the mailman or your husband comes home and you're still not in your pajamas from the morning. The morning, right? with you the know? spit up on exactly, it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it's about making mom feel good mm -hmm. and that's what this program is about. That's what this guide is about. It's letting moms feel in control, feel confident and giving them wins that they can say, you know, I, I didn't do all of this stuff but I did get this done. Right. And little things, again, like doing your hair and makeup, just a little bit. When I would get that blowout, it was yes. like I became a new person. Yeah, all of a sudden you're like super I'm like, mom. who am I? Yeah. I'm super mom, I can do anything. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it was it's something that was for me. Exactly, and, and that is so huge because I think moms feel like because they're doing something for themselves that they're like neg neglecting their kids right. or, you know, but we have to do this as moms and it's important that we do because we have to know, like, fill up your own cup and then you can give so much more to everybody else. I agree. And I think it's also, I personally, I think it's a great example to set for your children as well yes. as they grow where they say, Hey, you know what? I'm a person too. I yeah. need a little bit of that time and it's only going to make me a better parent Definitely. in the future as Definitely. well. Now I would, Balance. I want to talk about that word yeah. because I think we struggle with that yes. word. And, and I even like hate that word because I, I feel like. <laughs> I agree. I hate that word because I think it doesn't exist yes. in this world where people are like, where do you find that work life balance? And I really don't think mm -hmm. there is such a thing. Yeah. So yeah, I'm with you. How do you. How do you work with that when moms come in and they're like, I really just want to yeah. find that balance? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first, you know, I say like, let's forget the word balance because that's something that, like you said, balance, it's not. You can't do everything. Like right. as a mom, you have to know first and foremost that you can't do everything at the same time. And that's and that's a big component of it. You can get it all done, but you're not going to be feeding your baby, being able to take care of yourself, get the I mean, you just can't do it all you at can't. the same time. And that's the first step, right? Yes. Knowing that you can't and it's okay. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, yes, you have to know your priorities, but you also have to know that it will all get done, but it's again, it's setting that schedule. It's knowing what the priorities are and just knowing like if it doesn't get done, something like, you know, my rule of thumb is like one load of laundry a day, no matter what, right. no matter if it's, if it's high, it's low, get it done. Right. You know, so it's being able to really just make mama feel like she's in control. And I like that a lot. Now, how long does it take for mom to get into this new routine once you work with them? Yeah, so they say it takes about 21 days to create a new habit. So okay. once you are able to, you know, maybe it's it's waking up early. Like I was never a morning person. Me either. Never a morning never. person. <laughs> yes. So, you know, just, just a little thing of like, I'm gonna get up before my baby gets up. That was huge for me because, you know, who likes to get up out of bed? Like the room's spinning and you're getting up out of bed, you still haven't caught your bearings yes. and you're you're changing the diaper now and you're doing the bottle and you're still not even up yourself, you know? So being able to say, okay, point. I don't like getting up early, but I'm gonna do it to feel in control and to be able to to handle my my day and anything that comes my way because I decided, I decided to be able to, to be in control and, and put those actionable steps into place. Absolutely, and I like what you, like you said that it's, I don't like it, yeah. it's okay to admit you don't like it, but you're gonna do it because it's be so, so true. And you'll be so glad you did. And you are. <laughs> now stay with us because when we come back, we're talking about some easy ways to incorporate working out in your routine, no matter how busy you are. 
you're watching the Health Channel. All health all the time on South Florida PBS. If you have a question, please call in using the toll-free number 855-796-4475. And remember, you can take the Health Channel wherever you go by visiting our website, allhealthtv.com. And you can watch a Health Channel live stream or check out videos from previous episodes. We'll be right back. to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Prescription opioids are a type of drug used to manage pain. They include Oxycontin, Vicodin, and morphine, among others. Some people might think prescription opioids are safer than alcohol or illegal drugs, but the truth is they carry serious risks and side effects. In fact, anyone can become addicted to prescription opioids, even when prescribed by a doctor. Abusing or misusing opioids can result in loss of control. It can affect your ability to keep a job and maintain healthy relationships. It can even lead to overdose and death. Prescription opioids can have a number of side effects, even when taken as directed. Some of those include physical dependence, increased sensitivity to pain, constipation, nausea, confusion, and depression. You can make informed decisions about your pain management. Talk to your doctor about non-opioid options like ibuprofen or acetaminophen, antidepressants, exercise, and other therapies. If your doctor prescribes opioids, ask how long you'll need to take the medicine and how you'll know when it's time to stop. Take only the amount prescribed. Talk to your doctor about all of your medications. It's very dangerous to combine opioids with certain other drugs. Talk to your doctor about all of your concerns. Follow-up is important. Welcome back to the Health Channel, all health, all the time. I'm Kathy Buccio, and with us is Santi Glant, a family and fitness coach at Business and Body. If you have a question, please call in using the toll-free number 855-796-4475. We'd love to hear from you. Now, pregnancy and labor affects the body's shape and weight, and maintaining physical activity can help to tone the, mod tone the body, among other benefits like distressing. And of course, before starting any physical activity, you have to consult with your doctor because yep. we mentioned our body changes. So working out is something that you strongly recommend, yeah. including in the, mo in the mommy morning routine. Yeah. So what benefits do you notice, not just in yourself, but with women that you work with mm -hmm. yeah, and so incorporating a workout? Definitely. So, you know, of course you have more energy when you work out. If you ever notice when, you know, before your workout, you're like, oh, I don't want to go do that. It's and then dreadful. during you're like, oh, this is horrible. And then afterwards you're like, I feel amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the endorphins that we get from working right. out. And, um, and you feel accomplished. Yes. So accomplished. Exactly. And that's why this is in the magic mom morning, because again, it's another accomplishment that you're giving to yourself. So, you know, more energy, we get a boost in our metabolism and you know, who doesn't want that? You want that. You want that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it also creates consistency. This guide is teaching moms consistency. And it's something that, again, it may take, you know, a couple of weeks mm -hmm. to get into that routine. But once you have it, you got it. Yes. And you're able to 
just do it without it's like brushing your teeth like we just get up and we do it mm -hmm. right so it's something that creates a consistency and better choices all day long so instead of maybe going for the cookie you might have an apple or you know deciding on whatever um, other options that you have just could be whatever it is you right. know it could be taking the steps uh, instead of taking the elevator it could be parking your car further down the street and walking into the building. So it just creates better choices all throughout the day. And then also it proves your physical and your mental health as well. So physically, like I said, I, I work out because yeah, you want to look good. But for me, I'm like, it's stress release, you yes. know, it feels good. So, but I think it can be challenging sometimes, Sandy. I mean, mm -hmm. for any woman to yeah. get back into that groove of finding something that works for them. And I can imagine as a stay at home mom as well. And I'll tell you, yeah. one of the things I walked away with that I, you know, it's one of those f insert foot in mouth moments yeah. when before I even had my own children, sure. I used to say, stay at home moms have all the time in the world. Oh. What do they do? I was one of those, I, yes. I hate to admit. Now you're like, oh my God. Now I have nothing but praise for stay at home <laughs> yes. moms. Yes. And yes. I can't imagine with everything that they have to do how, yeah. do, how can you do that? Yeah, so you know, again, you have to, give yourself you have to set yourself up for success and this is something that this is what this is what the whole guide is about you know right. it's giving mom not just the steps but it's setting her up for more confidence more success and you know, as a stay-at-home mom, we have to find the little pockets of the day that we can use to our advantage. Right. So I have a few tips for the, for, for the stay-at-home moms. Yes, and then a few I tips love for that them. you brought these tips. These are great yeah. tips, and we have yeah. a graphic showing us some of these tips. Yes, yeah. so the first thing is work out before the baby wakes up. Again, I know it's hard, mama, but it's something that, you know, if you want to set the day up for success, you just have to make sure that you're doing it. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. setting, it's working that muscle. And once you work the muscle, it just becomes second nature. But you got to get it started first right so the next one is work out while baby's napping newborns nap a lot and then if you have an older baby maybe a toddler they they're gonna nap for maybe once a day but for a longer period of right. time like Use my son time. yeah he's 15 months old he'll nap for anywhere from an hour to two hours a day so that's a great time to get a workout in another option is work out with your baby my son loves motion I worked out throughout my entire pregnancy and I was moving a lot, you know? So right. he liked that that movement, the motion. You can use them as a weight, like as a free weight, you know? You can do your squats, you can do your lunges, and they love it because they're involved. And, yes. and it's setting good habits for your baby as well. And it's great bonding time. And I know we have, we're going to show that a little later, some pictures of yeah. workouts that you can do with your baby. Exactly. So so they love it. And it's a great way to, to get it done, get your workout in, but then also incorporate your baby as well. And then my other tip is ask for help. I know as moms, it's like, we can't ask for help. We're super mom. We can do it all. Right. But ask for help. It'll make your life so much easier, whether it's your partner and, you know, he's he's there to be able to, to take baby for 30 minutes. It doesn't need to be an hour long workout. This can be just get up and get moving. Moving. And, and that's actually my, my last tip is get up and just take baby outside right. and push the stroller in the neighborhood. Do lunges with the stroller. I mean, there's so many things that you can do that um, you can include baby with to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, but also baby as well. Absolutely. And I want to go back to to one of these, which is to ask for help. Yeah. And I can't stress enough the importance, I mean, of asking for help, yes. having that support system, whether it's grandma or grandpa Definitely. or a friend or an uncle. I mean, I used every resource I yes. had, whether it was a friend who came over to do a load of laundry yeah. <laughs> or, you know, my, my, my husband came from work and would stay with the baby yeah. and I just, you know, went to sit in yeah. a coffee shop just because you need that support system. Definitely. So how crucial is that yeah, to include so support? Honestly, it's everything. I'm so blessed because my, my in-laws actually, they live very close to us. Mm -hmm. And I, I never felt ashamed or any, any type of way um, for asking for help because I think, you know, especially if you have a partner that maybe is working a lot and you are a stay at home mom, it all kind of falls on you. So if you do have the resources and listen, maybe you have to hire um, a babysitter to come and in. And I did when yeah. we moved here. I, no shame in my family. There were babysitters in our rotation. You and have to. It's, and honestly, it's for your mental health as well yes. because mom needs time to decompress, to not be in poopy diapers and spit up and, mm -hmm. and, and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse all day right. long, you know, to just be normal. And whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, a quick 20 minutes, right. utilize what you have. And whether it's mom, mother-in-law, cousins, brothers, whoever, you know, use the help and, and, but 
but use it wisely. Like use your time to either get out of the house. Again, go get a cup of coffee. Don't, don't, I would say don't stay in the house. No, don't stay in the house because you are so visible yes, to everyone yes. who lives there. <laughs> you need to leave. You know it. And I think it's important too to use that support system to also, I think we were going to touch upon it this, Andy, it's that your husband and it's time for you and your husband or you yes. and your partner as well to yeah, go do something definitely. together, whether it's to go catch a movie or whether it's just date nights. Go have a coffee together yes. in silence. Yes, you know, my husband and I make it a priority to, to have that time together. Um, intentional time, not like yes. I'm on my phone, he's on his phone. Intentional time where we're actually talking, maybe we have a glass of wine, we mm -hmm. bought these cute little cards where we can ask each other questions, you know, really just spend time together because I think it's hard um, when you have your babies to, to focus so much on them. But the partner may feel neglected, they may not want to say it, but to really have that connection time with your, with your spouse or your partner right. and feel like they are just as important. Absolutely. Now let's get a look of how to involve your baby in your work as yes. we're done with our little coffee, coffee talk here. Yes. Okay, so you brought some examples and I want to show them. So yeah, these are perfect. some of the ones that you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's my delicious. baby. <laughs> okay, so tell us about what we're going to be seeing here. Yeah, so okay, so the nice thing is when you have your baby, that's your weight. You don't need weights, you don't need bands, you don't need anything other than your baby. just your own body weight and your baby. So I would do things like push ups, you know, push ups help they work your arms. You've got lunges, and your lunges are your quads, your legs, dips. You know, you can you can do dips. My baby loves like you know when you work your quads, and they kind of do like the Superman on your yes. legs. <laughs> it's almost like a little horsey. Yeah, yes. yeah. And and there was there was a picture just on there where I was I was you know doing like the squats with my baby. Um, everything, shoulder workouts, crunches, uh, leg raises, which, which we were just talking about. Right. Your burpees, your mountain climbers. You know, it's so easy to. They're, oh, they were doing a push adorable. up. You right. know? And sometimes you know you're building back the strength that you may have lost because I never say like lose weight while you're pregnant you don't want to to work out for weight loss you want to work out to like maintain the muscle that you have right. to just stay, stay active fit. exactly so you know when you get back into to working out post-pregnancy you can do a little bit more because you know you're not pregnant you don't have the weight of the baby in the front right. there are certain things that you can't do when you're pregnant like laying on your back you know ab exercises things like mm -hmm. that however when you have baby they love it they love to be involved and there's so much you can do that gets baby involved right. but you actually get a great workout in well with that push-up right there with that baby underneath <laughs> i feel like that's really motivating yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's a reason to do a push-up there but there's actually 10 exercises you recommend and yeah. they require Little to no equipment. So let's go through these and yeah. how they can help the body. Yeah. So the push-ups, of course, you know, that's that's all arms. And, you know, I feel like women, we specifically are all about our arms. Like, mm -hmm. we always want better arms. Maybe because we're always wearing, like, the top. Especially and, here in South Florida. Yeah, yes. yeah, definitely. So, so push-ups are great um, to incorporate. Again, no equipment. You can do them up against the wall, on the floor, depending on where you at, you're at and what modifications you need. Um, lunges, amazing. I know we had a graphic for that. Um, you know, with your baby, holding baby in the front. You can do side lunges, you can do back lunges, front lunges. I mean, it's really, it's endless. Um, we have our dips, like, you know, your tricep dips that you can do right. on, you know, you can have baby, especially when they're not like mobile yet, if they're not crawling or, or walking yet, you know, you can, you can actually set them down. If they are in that mobile stage, I would say you want, you don't want to like do any workouts where you have to set them down because they'll run off. Yes. <laughs> um, but for, so squats, again, that one is a great one where you can hold your baby. That's your booty, that's mm -hmm. your legs. I mean, who doesn't want a good booty right. and legs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jumping jacks, that's great for cardio. And then we have any type of, of shoulder workouts, like wall presses are right. great to Those do. Those are great. Those are easy. Yeah. Planks are another awesome way to do this. Um, there was a picture there with my baby. I was doing a plank. Great for your core, great for your arms. You can do side planks. You can do just your regular, you know, standard plank. And all this without equipment. Nothing, nothing. Um, your crunches. This is great if you want to do crunches and hold baby and like you go up and down. Mm -hmm. You know, they love that. It's motion. Um, your leg raises. Again, you can hold baby to activate your core and do your leg raises. Um, your burpees are great. That's cardio. Uh, your arms and the mountain climbers, which again are cardio. You know, I feel like we need to mention nutrition though, because yes. almost like it goes hand in hand because it doesn't matter if you're doing all these great workouts. Yeah. But if you're not eating properly or Definitely. eating in a very healthy way, yeah, it might be for point. nothing. So yeah. what what are some ways that you help moms modify their diet in something healthier? Yeah, so you know, 
we're women, we get those cravings. I feel like men don't get them like we do. <laughs> right. But, you know, when you're pregnant, you also get cravings in a different way. And right. again, that's all the hormones and things like that. But you wanna make sure that you have a high protein diet. So now this can change depending on if you have, say you're, you're uh, a vegetarian or vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. So you wanna work within you know what you're used to. And of course, you wanna talk to your doctor if you have any special um, dietary restrictions, they'll probably put you on a, on a specific prenatal for that. Right. Um, but lots and lots of water. I mean, it's crucial, especially during pregnancy, to be yes. chugging your water. I always, <laughs> that was an issue. I always felt I was drinking enough water. Yeah. Only to realize, I, yeah. I kept saying, but why, how much more water can I drink? Yeah, only yeah. to find that I wasn't drinking enough. I have a video on um, businessandbody.com on my website, and I do how to like infuse your water and not just have like your plain, boring old water, like really spicing it up, and you know, using cinnamon and just like really right. different ways to get your water in because that's super important. And then stay away from like the processed sugar, like candy and you know, now it's hard because we're in the holiday season, but just knowing like that, whatever you put in your body mm -hmm. is going directly to your baby. So you need to know that this time, if at any other point in your life you wanted to get healthy, like now's the time to do right. it, you know? And especially post-pregnancy with breastfeeding, it all goes right to baby. Um, and then of course, trying to get your back, you know, your body back post-pregnancy, same thing goes um, with trying to stay away from that sugar. Right, because it's a great initial high, you have all this energy and then, and then you, just, crash. you crash. Yes, and then, um, so high protein and lots of veggies. Yes, those are good. Now coming up, so you, things that you need to know to work out, but how do you get motivated and stay motivated? Sandy shares some tips when we come back. You're watching the Health Channel. All health, all the time on South Florida PBS. If you have a question, please call in using the number 855-796-4475. And remember, you can take the Health Channel wherever you go by visiting our website, allhealthtv.com, and you can watch a Health Channel live stream or check out videos from previous episodes. Don't go anywhere. Like millions of Americans, Emma was living with high blood pressure and didn't know it. There were no early warning signs or symptoms. But Emma's heart was working overtime, putting her at risk for heart disease and stroke. Following a physical, Emma was diagnosed with high blood pressure, also called hypertension. People of all backgrounds can develop high blood pressure. Treatments differ based on risk factors, including age and family history. But hypertension can often be controlled with healthy habits and medication when necessary. Eating more fruits and vegetables, following a low-salt diet, exercising regularly, and quitting smoking are often the first lines of defense to control high blood pressure. Your doctor may prescribe one or more medications to help lower your blood pressure to normal. Some rid the body of extra sodium and water. Others reduce the heart rate or relax the blood vessels. Always take medications exactly as prescribed and don't skip doses. While medications can effectively lower blood pressure when taken correctly, each type has potential side effects for some people. You might feel tired or have trouble sleeping. You may experience a dry cough, stuffy nose, leg cramps, frequent urination, or headaches. If you have side effects that don't go away with time, don't just quit taking your medication. Talk with your doctor and pharmacist as there may be other medications or different doses that can control your blood pressure and have fewer or no side effects. Focus on the benefits. Taking your medication regularly will lower high blood pressure and protect your brain, heart, and kidneys from life-threatening consequences like stroke or heart attack, often the first scary signs of hypertension when left untreated. Control your blood pressure and reduce your risk by knowing your goal numbers and monitoring your blood pressure at home or at your local pharmacy in between doctor's visits. How's Franny? <laughs> she just graduated from obedience school. Pharmacists play a key role in working with your physician to improve blood pressure management. We can address medication concerns and challenges. So talk to us about your treatments and goals outlined by your doctor. If taking your medication feels like a chore, don't just stop taking it. We can counsel you on working through side effects or determine when you need to see your doctor about possible changes in your medications. And we'll share healthy lifestyle tips to keep you on track. Whether you monitor your blood pressure at home or in the pharmacy, we're here to discuss your numbers and provide guidance. Okay, Emma, you're all set. I'll see you back here soon.
Welcome back to the Health Channel, all health, all the time. I'm Kathy Buccio, and with us is Sandy Glenn, a family and fitness coach at Business and Body. If you have a question, please call in using the toll-free number 855-796-4475. Now, being a mom comes with challenges and changes, but finding a daily routine definitely helps. Though this hour, we have been going through different tips and tricks to hacking your morning routine, and Sandy has been quite helpful. So for lots of the tips that we've been talking about, the mindset, is yeah. so important. I think it's like, as you said, let's start our day with this mindset, kind of sets the tone for the rest Definitely. of the day. So why does that help motivate positive change in, in someone's life, especially moms? Yeah, so you know, it all starts with, with us and it all starts with the changes that we want to see in our lives. We're not going to get change if we don't expect it in ourselves first and really give us, you have to give yourself the chance, right? Like you can't just say, I want things to change and then not do anything about it. Right. So it starts with our mind first and we have to be able to give ourselves a focused mindset, a goal setting mindset, and one that we feel um, that we can be, again, go back to giving yourself grace, like all of that together to really see changes and make those changes. Right. Now we have a caller, we have Bethany from Miami. Bethany, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Bethany. Thank you so much for calling in. Hi, thank Hi. you. You have a question? So I have a question. Yes, I definitely have a question for Sandy because I'm not a mom yet, but I feel like we could be similar in age. What can I do in my, like, my stage right now if I'm looking to be a mom and a wife and a mompreneur? Like, how can I prepare for that? What did you do? the first year, like before having a kid and maybe even like before, you know, planning that with your marriage and everything? Yeah, that's such a great question. So I, you know, I always knew I wanted to be a mom and I kind of set myself up for, okay, like I got married and then like I knew that was the next stage. So I just put in, I, I kept track of everything that I was doing. So I said, what obstacles am I facing and what challenges am I coming up against? Because I knew that if it was, me and I was going through it, other women were experiencing this as well. So it kind of just came from a place of, I, I loved helping women and I was doing that before I had my baby. And then I took my business in a direction where I saw the need and I saw every mom that I would talk to was kind of coming up with the same challenges and questions. And I actually got, I would hire experts and trainers and I was learning from these people. And I said, if I, again, if I have these questions, other moms do as well. So I was able to collect the knowledge. And then also like before I had my baby, I, was always looking to serve and I was always looking to see where I could help people. So I felt like it was such a great merge of the two and you know, what stage of life I was in, but then also where I was gonna be going. That's so good. Yeah, I feel like it's about balancing it all and I know that can be hard. So I just wanna get a head start and like get more information of what to do like when I do have a baby, you know? Yeah, it's all so about- thank you so much. Of course, and you know, just like I, I share with the moms on how to set these successful tips up for yourself, you do it before you have the baby and you'll be so far ahead, you know? So I actually have a website, yeah. it's um, themagicmommorning.com and I'm gonna be sharing, okay. um, you just put your email in there and I do a free coaching session with you and then you get the guide for free. That's my gift to you. Thanks so much, Bethany. I think such a great question. She's obviously yeah. someone who's planning ahead and sees how I can she can merge her life as a mom, as a wife, but also Definitely. as an entrepreneur as well. It's so I great because she great. knows, you know, she's headed in that direction. And I feel like as women, we know, you know, we're we're just such we're, we're beings where we want to take care of other people mm -hmm. and you know, being able to kind of foresee what's going to be in her future, I think, is really great because she's planning for success. Right. She knows that, like. She, this is going to, to eventually be in her life, so she's gonna plan for it, and that's, that's really almost the whole battle. Like, right. if you can plan, and, and again, that's what this is all about, is planning yourself and setting yourself up for success. And she's going in there knowing. At yes. least a little more than most of us. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I know you're an advocate as well of something called keeping track. So how do you, yes. keeping track, how is that motivating, especially when you're planning your wins in the morning and you're doing your routine? Yeah, so I keep track of everything. I keep track of when my baby goes down to sleep, when he wakes up, when he's eating, when he's going to the bathroom. And honestly, it really helps, especially in the beginning stages, mm -hmm. if you track you can start to see a pattern of, you know, okay, this is the time he's going to wake up and when he's going to eat. So as a new mom, it really helps you to kind of, um, you know, kind of give you, give you a heads up on what's going to happen. Right. But what I talk about when I talk about tracking, I think it's so important for moms to track their wins. So 
again, we feel like the weight of the world on our shoulders yes. as moms and wives and caregivers and, you know, trying to just do it all. So instead of thinking with what you have to get done and what needs to be done and, and what's being what neglected, get, exactly. Mm. It's all about focusing on the positive, focusing on the wins, and this will change your day. It's magic. And that's yes. why it's the Magic Moms Morning. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply <laughs> that, some of that. And, yeah. and any moms out there, moms who are new moms or moms with many kids or dads, what are some of the last minute advice that you have for them? Yeah, so I would just say, listen, know that you're not alone. Know that everything that you're going through is so normal. Like, again, I started this journey because I was going through this and then every mama that I would encounter was going through the same thing. So, you know, you're not alone. It's, it's totally normal. And also reach out and get a mom group. So oh, yes. there's so much, you know, support that we get in those mom groups. I actually have one that I, uh, that I run on Facebook, but, um, you can reach out to me on, uh, just magicmommorning.com. And like I mentioned, we have that free coaching on there. Plus you'll get the, um, the magic mom morning guide and it really, Really, it just sets you up for success. And especially going into the new year, now is kind of the time to do it, you know? Now we want to set ourselves up yes. for success and give us those wins, the actionable wins, and, and be around other supportive people in Absolutely. our life. Absolutely. Those mom groups, I mean, I know they're my saving grace. Yes. I love them. Yes. Sandy, it was so fantastic Thank having you, so you here. <laughs> that does it for us this hour. So be sure to join us next time on The Health Channel. All Health All the Time on South Florida PBS and follow us on social media at All Health TV, hashtag All Health TV. And please be sure to visit our website, allhealthtv.com, where you can watch a live stream of the Health Channel and watch videos from previous episodes. I'm Kathy Buccio. We'll see you next time.